Endometriosis is a benign chronic inflammatory disease that affects women in reproductive age, mainly between the age of 30 and 40, but can occur beyond up to menopause. Typically, endometriotic cells cause an inflammatory state in the affected organs and tissues. And symptoms related to the disease include pelvic pain, dysmenorrhea, to even infertility. Endometriosis cysts form when the endometrial tissue, tissue very similar to endometrial tissue, grow inside the ovaries. They can vary in size, usually growing from 2 to 5 centimeters. Larger cysts are rare but possible. Generally, large ones cause symptomatology such as pelvic pain, painful menstruation, pain during sexual intercourse, or even during sports activity. Significant risk associated with endometriotic cysts is the rupture of a cyst with blood spreading in the abdominal cavity. This could be a medical emergency that sometimes requires surgical intervention. Surgical removal of endometriotic ovarian cyst, called cystectomy, is possible, but this type of surgery may compromise the woman's fertility, so it should be carefully evaluated. In addition, there is a fair risk of recurrence related to the traditional surgical approach. For the past few years, we have adopted a new laser technique for the treatment of endometriotic ovarian cyst in our institute. It's a minimally invasive technique that is performed by laparoscopy through a straight or articulated 5 mm laparoscopic sheets and the aid of diode lasers. The use of vaporizing and cutting fiber optics allow us to intervene in the most appropriate modality to ablate or to enucleate pathologic tissue as appropriate. Specifically, the animation shows the use of Ellaclick fiber, which has a vaporizing action that allows rapid ablation of ovarian cyst tissue in extremely superficial manner. To date, we have performed over 300 laser treatments for the conditions which very promising results. We have documented not only a statistically significant reduction in postoperative pain, but also a pregnancy rate in 48.3%, 14 on 29 patients, of infertility patients who underwent laser treatment of endometrioma. After removing the adhesions, we used Ellaclick fiber to ablate the entire endometriotic component from the ovarian cyst, uterine surface, and peritoneum. The technique turns out to be very simple and reproducible. After removing additions, we used myofiber CS fiber with a conical tip to proceed with the radical excision of endometriotic nodules. The video shows very well the cleanliness of the procedure and the, and the using of laser to incise and coagulate at the same time with maximum precision.
A recent prospective multicentric clinical trial published in JMIG in October 2024 evaluated in 70 women the efficacy of Leonardo dual diode laser in the treatment of ovarian endometrioma with ablation and vaporization of the cyst without performing the stripping technique in terms of ovarian reserve and recurrence. 70 women aged 18 to 40 years with pelvic and or infertility and with single or bilateral endometrioma between 3 and 10 centimeters in size underwent laser laparoscopic treatment. The patients underwent gynecological examination including pelvic ultrasound for the assessment of uh, antrafollicular count and blood sampling for the measurement of anti hormone levels. The assessments were conducted at baseline, pre-surgery, and at 3, 6, and 12 months after surgery. First, ovarian suspensions were performed, and if present, deep endometriotic nodules were isolated and cut from the bowel, the ureter, the bladder, and the retroperitoneal tissues or retrocervical area using myofiber CS fiber operating at an average power of 15 watts with the Leonardo Dual 45. Drainage of chocolate cyst irrigation and inspection of the inner wall was done. Biopsy of the cyst was then performed for an histological examination to verify the diagnosis of endometriosis. Laser vaporization of the entire inner surface of the cyst was done with the Elaclic fiber following a course from the central end to the margin with a power intensity of 20 watt, 10 watt at 1470 plus 10 watt at 980 and a distance of 5 mm from the tissue. Finally, irrigation and removal of ovarian suspensions was performed. No shooters were applied after vaporization and all patients were discharged after an average hospital stay of 2.7 days. Most of our patients had more than just ovarian endometrioma to be surgical treated with 45% classified as stage 4 according to the AGL new classification of 2022. The study showed that the laser technique is effective in ablating pathological tissue without damaging the follicular reserve. In fact, histopathological analysis showed that the ablation dipped and the dual Leonardo laser is around 500 microns. No evidence of endometriosis was recognized on the connective tissue of the capsule were recognized after laser vaporization, but it was noted that the endothelial cells of the vessels of the healthy ovarian parenchyma when the cysts were completely spared by the action of the laser. A statistically significant improvement was observed in all investigated domains of pain score thus at 3, 6 and 12 months of follow-up. The anti mulleran hormone levels at the 3 months follow-up exhibited a significant difference from the baseline, demonstrating an increase in the subsequent months. However, there was a return to nearly presurgical values and no statistically significant difference was observed between the levels at 6 and 12 months follow-up and baseline levels. The antrafollicular count of the operated ovary showed a significant increase after treatment at the 6-12 months follow-up. No significant difference were observed in the antrafollicular count of the contralateral non-operated ovary at baseline 3, 6 and 12 months after surgery. In this study, we observed a recurrence rate of 5.7% during the 12 months follow-up, which stands out 
as one of the lowest rate reported in literature, better than the stripping and the most popular techniques. These favorable outcomes is likely attributed to the unique capability of the diode laser to modulate two wavelengths based on the required depth of ablation. In conclusion, the findings of this study show that the application of Leonardo laser presents a good option for treating ovarian endometrioma, demonstrating a minimal impact on the surrounding healthy ovarian tissue. It's linked to a pregnancy rate coupled with low recurrence rate that associated with cystectomy. It's a very versatile laser platform. In fact, it's also used for operative hysteroscopies in the outpatient setting, also for conization, for vaporization of uh, cervicovaginal dysplasia and condylomata, for the treatment of vaginal atrophy and stress urinary incontinence in both young and menopausal women. Thank you.